Hello guys, today I'm going to review GNOME 3.28, which was released just a few days ago. So first off, you can see one of their new wallpapers, which is kind of cool. And before anything else, let's check and make sure that we are indeed running version 3.28 by going to settings and details and indeed we're running version 3.28 of GNOME and without further ado let's start by checking the changes and files on the left pane there's a new special location called start just above your folders. If we click it, we can read Start Files will appear here. This is a new special location where your favorite files and folders will be stored. Let's for instance go to Documents. We have some document files and folders here. And now on the right, there's the star header where you can start whichever files you want to save as your favorites. So for instance, let's start document 1, document 4, document 8, folder 1, and now if we go back to start, all the files that you have start will show here for quick access. This is quite a nice new feature. Let's check contacts now. As you can see, the default ordering is my first name, but in version 3.28 of GNOME, you can also list contacts by surname instead of first name, like so. Now the contacts are sorted by surname. Let's check the calendar now. The month view has a new look, which is much better. For instance, events can now display the weather. Calendar fetches the local weather and shows it. And crucially, month days with overcrowded events can now be expanded so if you click here you'll see the extra events which couldn't be shown before next up we have clocks as in previous versions of gnome you can add the time for different cities but now, starting with version 3.28, you can also add the UTC time zone. The Cantorel font has also been redesigned with better spacing and character forms to improve readability. Music also has some improvements in GNOME 3.28. For instance, in playlists, you can now reorder each song manually by dragging and dropping, like these. The user interface of photos has also been improved. You can star photos and find them in favorites. And next, to do also has an updated user interface. It allows you to easily reorder each task by dragging and dropping 
like these. Although sometimes it doesn't quite work as it should. Well, it did now. Yes. Terminal has changed the way you set the preferences. Whereas previously you had two separate settings for global preferences and per profile preferences. Now after version 3.28 uh, these two have been mixed together in a new interface. So you have tabs for the global preferences and right below you have tabs for each profile that you have created. GNOME 3.28 has also introduced a brand new and still experimental application GNOME Usage, which has a minimal interface. You can see what processor is doing and also some memory profiling of your running applications. And on top of that, there's a storage tab where you can quickly see how much of your main folders are using, how much storage they're using. And to wrap it up, unfortunately, quarter tiling still wasn't included in this release. It was supposed to be included in version 3.28, but as you can see, all you have is half tiling. There is no quarter tiling yet. So, thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos like this one, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. As always, use Linux long and prosper.